Just wanted to make this video about a McCoy chuck that was used in a lot of uh, Miller Falls drills. And it was used on a lot of different models that they had. It was only used, I think, for a relatively short period of time. It was a springless chuck. And, um, you know, you, you can really take it off one model of Miller Falls and put it in another model, it'll still fit and it'll work. And that goes for a lot of chocks they made, if not all of them. And just, you know, FYI, the thread and the diameter they used in the shaft for the chocks on the main shaft here on the drill is pretty oddball. It's a 22 TPI and 7 16 in diameter. Um, good luck finding a tap or, or a die in that uh, size if you find one let me know i'd love to buy one um, regardless so the check itself is pretty genius design it only has six parts three jaws um, a shuttle in which jaws are riding and a shell and then the little machine screw here which we'll talk about a little bit later on so uh, the design again it's pretty simple uh, there are no springs and when I first got it, um, I was a little bit bummed because what would happen is I would put in a drill bit, it would tighten just fine, but then I would not loosen up. So when it would be time to move the chuck up the shaft, right, to loosen the jaws and take the drill bit out, I, I just couldn't do it. Uh, the drill bit would, would be stuck. Uh, the jaws wouldn't release it. And, and so I would have to hit the uh, drill bit a little bit with the... Um, piece of wood just just to kind of loosen it up a little bit uh, what I quickly realized is that that was due to the um, dirt and a little bit of rust accumulated over the years I, I don't think it was really ever cleaned uh, and as you will see later on this chuck really likes when things are clean and well oiled and that goes to the way it works again the simplicity of it the fact that it doesn't have springs so what happens is uh, these jaws, they have also have a little, uh, I guess like a little rod sticking out here, like a little, <laughs> not sure what to call it. Let's just call it little tiny rod. Um, but the, all it does is just helps it fix it in the groove. And what happens is, uh, let's see, they, all of the jaws go in each groove like this. And then, you know, you put the shell on top, you tighten it through the, uh, the threads, and then you put it on the shaft, right? And as you move the chuck down on the shaft, right? Righty tighty to tighten it. What happens is this part of the chuck starts to push on the jaws, the bottom part of each jaw, like that, like so that sits inside of a shuttle. It just literally goes through the shuttle and, and starts pushing on the jaws. And as you tighten it, right, the jaws start to ride up in a shuttle till they grip the shaft of your drill bit tight enough so that, you know, it can't move. Uh, pretty genius, really. And you will notice if you ever take one apart and kind of peek inside, is that the way they grab it, it is really good. Oh, sorry, I'm just trying to position it properly. So they really grab it along the side, the whole uh, side of the jaws. So they don't just grab it like at the very tippy top or get for the bottom. It, it, they really grab the shaft of your drill bit, you know, all the way. And that that's a pretty uh, tight connection right there. Um, now let's see what else is interesting there. Um, talked about the thread and the shaft size. All right, so the shell goes on the top of the shuttle and goes through the thread. So that's where the little machine screw here comes in play. Uh, you can see hole here, just a regular hole, and this one is a threaded one. I think I'm right, or is it the other way around? I honestly can't remember. Uh, I believe this is the threaded one. 
And what happens is that as you tighten the chuck, right, and you're going to be tightening it pretty tight to keep your drill bit from moving. On the chipper chucks, what happens is you eventually you're going to tighten it so tight on these threads that if you ever need to take it apart for cleaning or whatever reason, replace a spring, a jaw, whatever, you're going to have a really hard time doing it. So what this uh, little machine screw does is it prevents this shell going down on the shuttle so tight that you cannot take it apart again. So it kind of fixes it. It's not going to go farther than, than it's meant to go. And um, now, having said that, I still had a little bit of a hard time taking it apart. It needed a little bit of persuasion just because the threads were reasonably rusted. Uh, no, nothing horrible, but a little bit of rust there. Um, but again, even with the rust, I was able to take it apart and only because it wasn't tightened so bad that, that you know, you can't, you can't loosen it. Uh, that's really it. I mean, I really like this design. Um, unfortunately, it does not take um, drill bits that are one quarter in size uh, that other chucks that were used to Miller's Falls did. This one, I believe, goes up to 3 sixteenths. Uh, but honestly, if you start using one quarter of an inch uh, drill bits in a hand drill, you might as well step up to, you know, it's Big Brother uh, Model 2 or the one that I actually prefer to it, uh, Model 980 or maybe 1980, the one that came with two speeds. Uh, let's see. That's pretty much it. Uh, that's, that's, you know, a little tidbit about the McCoy chucks.